Chapter 1. Your life is running out, 1. You are listening at FameTV.com. Chapter 1. Your life is running out, 1. Buzz, buzz. Buzz. She opened up her eyes groggily. The room was pitch black except for a sliver of light shining in through a crack in front of her. Did she dozed off while she was reading again? After the strong light from the screen hit her eyes, her face darkened. She distinctly remembered dying in a multiple dot car accident. While she frowned and sorted out her memories, her cell phone buzzed a couple more times. Gu Shersher paused for a second. And what were they talking about? She was stunned. A slight movement of her arm, and she hit the wooden board in front of her. What is this? A closet. She was sitting inside a small and narrow wooden chest and on both sides of her were rows and rows of man's suits. Gu Shersher froze in mid-action. Mmm. Shuang Shuang, I need to talk to my brother about something and I will be downstairs shortly, came a male voice that was gentle like Jade. Young Master Cheng. Brother. Shuang Shuang. Closet. That was the cliché novel that she was reading in the taxi. The Goos and the Huas were to form an alliance through marriage and the Goos didn't want the fake young mistress with heart disease to live a hard life. So, after a few days of Gu Shershir returning to the Goos, it was decided that she was to marry the boss villain Hua Sis Hen, the very unfortunate, lonely, wife.cursing first young master of the Goos. The one she was fond of, however, was the Hua's second young master Hua Wencheng. No way. Did she really transmigrated to become the female supporting character who has the same name as her? T slash N, G, how one addresses one's older brother. As the story would go, the female support character really wanted to become a couple with Hua Wencheng, which was why she bribed the servant to help trick Hua Wencheng into the room when he came to visit while she hid in the closet and jumped into his arms when the time was right. What could she do? Gu Shershir touched her spaghetti strap on herself and was a bit lost. Should she get out after Hua Wencheng was gone? She then heard the rustling sound of the shower curtain being pulled open. The sound of Hua Wencheng's footsteps continued throughout the room, obviously, he was still looking for the missing person. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.